I've been awake since 6 a.m. My upstairs neighbors have taken to using their Alexa as their alarm clock. They usually sleep through it, but for some reason I can hear it crystal clear through my ceiling. I water the plants, I pack the car. Nine hours and an audiobook later, I'm minutes away from home. Minutes away from flopping onto my parents' floor to be smothered by puppy kisses and hugging my mom. <laughs> Minutes away from being able to finally shake the cramp in my legs for being poised to hit the brake as my cruise control rockets me across four states. I get a text. Now don't get me wrong, texting and driving is bad. I honestly probably wouldn't have known I'd gotten anything if my watch hadn't shown me the notification. Technology, huh? <laughs> At just a glance, I already don't like what I see. At a stoplight, I read something that makes ice run through me. My dad has COVID and I might have it too. I read the message from my friend who I'd just seen the night before, again. I've been very particular about who I saw during quarantine. I wasn't completely shut off, but I was careful. I know somewhere deep down that if I catch COVID, I probably won't make it, or I'll be pretty messed up from it at the very least. Now that may sound dramatic, but I have asthma. That wouldn't fare too well with a virus that targets the respiratory system. I'm also a wimp, <laughs> and generally just don't do well when I'm sick. So I don't feel like I have very good odds. I take a deep breath, make the last few turns of my nine hour journey, and pull into our driveway. I walk inside. I'm careful not to touch anything as I come in. Only the doors I have to touch, no light switches. I put my hands in my pockets. Hey, sister. Where's mom? In her room. He looks confused. Why am I in a mask? I walk back to my parents' bedroom. I can hear their voices. Hi, sweetie. Wait, you have to stay over there. I explain the message from my friend. She tells me where I can go to get tested and just like that, I'm in the car again. I wait in the waiting room, all the while watching. I see more people coming in to get tested just like me. I see them crowding together in a line to the desk despite the stickers on the floor trying to space everyone out. I watch a man toss his mask aside to drink a bubble tea while a woman stands at the door coughing. Of all the places to keep your mask on, even with bubble tea in hand, wouldn't a clinic pretty much exclusively testing for COVID be the number one place? I answer the usual triage questions and try to explain the potential contact to them. Well, it may be too soon to tell. Even if you're negative, you should come back in a few days and get tested again, just in case. We do the song and dance I'm sure we've all done by now, or at least heard of. But this was a first for me. I'd never had a reason to get tested before. I sit and I wait. And I wait. Mom calls, and I tell her I'm still waiting. Make sure you ask about the dogs, she says. Make sure you ask. I heard that they can give it or catch it or something. I don't really know, but I read it on Facebook. So make sure you ask the doctor. I wait some more. Grueling minutes passing by. What will I do if it's positive? I can't stay at the house. My brother is immune compromised. He'd fare even worse than me if he got sick. I just drove nine hours across four states. It's, it's not like I can just go back. Hotel? Are there even hotels here open? How long will I stay? Will I just stay trapped in my childhood bedroom? Will they even let me come back home at all? And the door opens. Hi there. 
I'm Dr. Well, can you see? Looks like you're a negative. Oh, relief washes over me, but only just. Could it be too soon to tell? My mom wanted me to ask about our dogs. <laughs> There's so much misinformation right now, you know? Thanks, Facebook. <laughs> if it's too soon for me to test positive, should we be worried about it passing from around the family through the dogs? Oh, oh no. Um, all I can say is I know China and man-made and I don't know who to say who's fought or not. Um, I don't know whether it's on purpose or not, but it's definitely in a lab in China. I freeze. I'm not totally sure what I just heard, but if it is what I think it is, let's try that again. All I can say is, I know it was man-made in a lab in China. I don't know if they let it out on purpose or not, but it's definitely man-made and it's all China's fault. I stop. All of a sudden, my skin feels stiff and chilled. I can't believe what I've just heard. In an instant, the room feels sticky with racism and his already detectable misogyny is more suffocating than anyone could ever claim a mask is. Through a stunned fog, I stand up. I want you to know that was incredibly racist what you just said, and I don't wanna to talk to you anymore. And I leave. On the way out, I report him to the supervising nurse. In just a few moments, I got to witness some of the most pervasive issues we're dealing with. People not understanding the importance of masks or the downright refusal to wear them. The pat on the head sexism that almost every woman I know gets from doctors. The rampant racism towards Asian people because of a virus that just happened to come from an Asian country. And I just couldn't help but wonder, why? Why was a grotesquely racist answer the first thing that came to this doctor's head when I asked about pets? Why did he so adamantly repeat himself as he gave me this irrelevant answer? And why did he seem so excited to get to give me this answer as though a dig at social media users suddenly gave him a green light to say a horrible thing he carries around in his head? And I know there are lots of reasons for it, but none of them make any sense to me either. I get to go home. <laughs> I get to hug my mom. I do avoid my brother for a few days until I get tested again. Still negative. <laughs> Little did I know it would be the first of many tests because testing is the new normal now. But I still wonder about that doctor. Did he face any consequences? Did me calling him out change anything about his perception? Did he really mean it the way I heard it? Did I even really hear that? Or was I in some sort of alternate reality caused by masks and people's inability to articulate and I heard something wildly different from what he actually said? And if he really did say that, what did he hope to gain? If he did, why? <laughs>